Good morning, guys. First of all, there's construction noise. There's washer dryer noise. I'm sorry. Welcome back to a vlog. This is my last week living alone. Finally, I definitely think I've made the most out of this time in my life while Matt has been in Texas playing for the Jackals and I've been up here. I'm really proud of myself for the way I've handled it. I was such a mess when he first moved, but I've really gotten into a groove and I've, you know, discovered some independence and I've definitely had some fun, but this is my last week living here by myself. On Saturday, I go to Dallas for the last and final time of the season. I'm gonna be there for the last two home games, and then the season is over, and Matt comes back up here. I'm so excited. I'm so excited, but I thought I would take you guys along with me. This is crazy because part of me feels like I just made the video telling you guys he had moved, my independent era video. Um, that had been, that was several weeks after he had left. Part of me feels like I just made that video, and then part of me feels like it's been an absolute lifetime. It's actually been a little bit over three months and this is the final week. I'm so excited. So every Monday morning, I meet up with a friend and we work out together. We've been doing this for about a month now and it's amazing. Working out with a friend makes working out so much better and we do strength training together. We do full body with a little extra on the glutes, you know what I mean? And she'll be here in about 15 minutes. So I have a couple little things to do around the house. All my flowers are dying, so I need to uh, throw those away. I posted a Prologues episode this morning. Prologues goes live every Monday morning at 6 a.m. Eastern time and it was about the fact that last week I realized I've been in a big depressive episode for about seven or eight weeks You'll have to listen to the episode. I'm not gonna go into it here But yeah, I realized that I've been really really depressed lately and I didn't realize it in the moment and Having that clarity now is usually a pretty good sign that I'm starting to come out of it and I am starting to feel better but I only posted on YouTube twice last month and I don't wanna make excuses. This is my job, so I need to prioritize my work ethic. But I have four vlogs that I started and abandoned in the month of June because I got in my head about them. I just thought they were bad. I felt weird about it. Four videos that I started and then got frustrated with and abandoned. And then I said that on my Snapchat I'm loving Snapchat lately, by the way. It's such a fun place to connect with you guys. I said it on Snapchat and someone said, well, why don't you just make a video with all the discarded vlogs? I still have all the footage, but just like a compilation. Here's all the, th the vlogs I started and didn't finish because I got in my head about it. I think I might do that. Let me know if you want to see it. All of my flowers are dying. It might not look like it. They still look pretty, but they're shedding like crazy. I have three bouquets this time. I love having fresh flowers. This is one that Matt got me while he was here, but that was two weeks ago. I'm like so surprised at how these flowers have held up for the last two weeks. They're two weeks old, so I'm actually gonna change the water and keep these for a little while longer because I miss him a lot, but I'll throw these away. It's sad because these still look pretty, but they're just dropping everywhere. So Blaine and I strength train together. And it just, it makes me, one, it makes me actually go to the gym and do more than just cardio. I had a big strength training phase in 2020, in 2021, and for whatever reason, I just fell off of it. I was living in Fredericksburg during 2020, and I had a Planet um, Fitness membership, and I would go there with Matt a lot. But I learned pretty early on in our relationship, I don't like working out with Matt. He's a professional athlete, he's so intense, and he always is like trying to coach me, and so if something is too hard or I feel like I can't do it, 
I want him to be like gentle and tender with me. And instead he's like, one more, you can do it, don't give up. That doesn't work for me. Tough love does not work on me. I just get mad. <laughs> so Matt and I stopped working out together. We'll still go to the gym together sometimes, but we don't like work out together anymore. That was a decision that just had to be made for the sake of our relationship. Um, and then I hadn't really worked out with anyone since then. So for like three years. Also, my garbage disposal isn't working. Like, it's just not turning on and I don't know why I didn't touch anything. So I'm entering into my physical planner era again. Re-entering, I should say. I exclusively used physical planners for like eight years. And then GCAL has been running my life for a long time and I'm not gonna stop using GCAL. But I think because I spend so much time every morning, I have a manifestation journal, a regular journal. I have this trauma workbook, workbook that I use with my therapist. I just spend a lot of time putting pen to paper and so I've decided that I'd like to start physically planning again. So I ordered a undated daily planner and a travel journal from Papier, Papier. They're not here yet, but I'm in the mood to make my schedule for the week on a sheet of notebook paper. I also ordered a second travel journal. I also decided I wanna do a summer themed giveaway and I thought a travel journal would be a good addition. So I'm working on compiling a list of things that I wanna to get to put in my summer giveaway, like summer essentials. Stay tuned for that, not sure when that's gonna happen. But I have, a bunch of YouTube videos I want to make this week to make up for the fact that I was inactive in May. And then my brother and my sister-in-law are coming on Friday. I'm going to a concert. I'm leaving on Saturday for Dallas. And then my manager has been out of office for the last two weeks, so we have a lot to catch up on. Yeah, just, just stuff. Just stuff I need to write down. I've been working for a couple hours just on the couch. The gym this morning was really good. I didn't feel my best, and I think it's because I went to a wedding this past weekend and I was drinking. I never even got drunk. I don't know, I'm just, I don't wanna get drunk these days. It really makes me feel bad, but I think even just the couple of drinks I had over the weekend has affected my energy and my strength, and I just didn't feel my best. But I got a good workout in anyway, even if I didn't lift as much as I thought I'd be able to. And I've just been working for a while. I'm having a little beef stick. You've been following me on literally any platform. You know how freaking obsessed I am with these Chomps beef sticks. Chomps, please sponsor me because I spend so much money on you guys. And I just got a package. 
and it's from Hawaiian Tropic. So I'm gonna open it with you guys. I tagged them on my Instagram story last week because I love Hawaiian Tropic SPF. That's so cool. Mary, we were so happy to hear you're a fan of our products. We love your content. We hope you enjoy your new collection. Love Hawaiian Tropic team. That's so nice. And this is crazy. I've been buying and using Hawaiian Tropic since I was a teenager. So this is really cool. Also, this is the jalapeno flavor of the beef sticks. Mm. We have a sheer touch face serum, SBF 30. The sheer touch lotions in SBF 50. The sheer touch is my favorite. It's like a sunscreen lotion that smells really good and it has these shimmers in it. So your skin looks really glowy. Um, and shiny in the sun. It's pretty. Like sunscreen face serums, a sunscreen mist, another lotion, and then this is a after sun body butter with aloe. Cool. Thank you, Hawaiian Tropic. I've been using you guys forever, so this is crazy. Thank you so much. It smells really good. This is nice too because I'm actually planning or in the middle of planning a little beach trip um, for just me and Matt after the season ends. One, because it's his birthday really soon. So I want to do something for his birthday. Two, I'd love to celebrate the end of his season. And then three, we really haven't had quality alone time together since before our wedding because he left immediately after the wedding because um, he had to be back in Dallas. So I thought a little beach vacation at the end of June would be the perfect way for us to just reconnect and have some quality time. So I'm looking at some places in Florida We've gone to Ocean City, Maryland for the last two summers, which is really fun, but I'm looking for something a little bit more special. So I'm looking at some places in Florida and I'd like to book that this week. I need to get ready for a recording session. I'm recording my first ever guest episode of Prologues today. One of my family members who has a BSN, she's an RN, and she's a fertility awareness educator, um, and she works in reproductive health and she also works in patient advocacy. She's coming on to talk all things hormones, reproductive health, birth control, all of that. And I've never recorded a guest episode before and she lives in Oregon. So I'm gonna record over this, there's like this video call recording website that's for podcasters. And I made an account and I did a little test run. I think it's gonna be fine, but I'm kind of nervous because I've never used it before. Welcome to my recording studio. And by that I mean my closet. Ooh. I joke about this a lot, but actually it works completely fine. The lighting is terrible, but I don't need the lighting. So I'm setting up right now for this episode. I'm really excited for it. I'm just nervous about the website that I'm hosting the video call on. I got a lot of recommendations from podcasters that, you know, this works. It's just my first time using it and I, I don't know what I'm doing. As far as the actual conversation goes, I'm not nervous. I'm actually excited to catch up with Morgan. We haven't talked in a little while. So I think we're probably gonna catch up and then move into the podcast topic. I am gonna record into my microphone though, because I want the quality to be as good as possible. And I hope that works. This is my new microphone. I changed them because one of my older brothers works in tech and he said that my microphone was bad and he told me to get this one, so I got it. I'm really excited to get my nails done this week because they've grown out a lot and they're really long now and I can't type. Um, I don't really like having, I don't really like having longer nails because I can't type. And they're right on the cusp right now. Because I've never done an interview episode before or a guest episode, I wrote a list of, I wrote a list of, I wrote, ah, uh, okay, perfect. The microphone is working. I wrote a list of questions that I it's not gonna be a strict question and answer interview style I mean by the time this video goes live you may have already heard it but I came up with a list of questions and topics that I thought could help guide our conversation I want all of my guest episodes to have a very natural flow and I'm actually recording a second guest episode later this week with my injector but that's gonna be y'all's questions I'm gonna put on my Instagram story um, just anything you've ever wanted to ask an injector. Also, this is a desk riser. I don't know if you can see that. It's a good desk riser and I just sit on the floor um, with my laptop and my microphone and everything. I also have a pop filter. This is my whole setup, you guys, but I don't think I need that today. Hey! Does it echo more if you hear me talk through this? Anyway, we're not recording yet, so how are you? Really what it is, like, it's, there's no good or bad. Like, we would never, like, say somebody's morally wrong for having the flu. Like With fertility, though, I also feel like when a couple is facing infertility issues, it's always the woman that's looked at first. 
it's always the woman who they're like, okay, well, we need to look at your egg count. Let's get you checked out by the doctors. We feel that way and we talk about it that way. Yeah. But looking at the numbers, it's not all the women, it's half. Is it pretty 50 50? Hello. So it's much later. It's now the evening. I had that recording session with Morgan. It went really well. The recording ended up being an hour and a half long, so I'm going to have to cut out some sections, which I'm kind of sad about because we had a really good conversation, but I'm going to have to trim it down a little bit. And then after that, I just did some more work and I had a phone call with my parents and I ordered some Instacart and that brings us to now. I'll give you a little haul. I ordered from Fresh Market and I don't usually order from Fresh Market. I usually order from Aldi's because it's the cheapest option, but Fresh Market has some really good stuff. So I decided to just go for it. All right, so this is what we have. Fresh Market has really good pre-made pasta salads. So I got some bow tie pesto salad some mozzarella balls, carrot sticks. These are protein pink salt chips. I don't know, thought it could be fun. These are cauliflower salt and vinegar chips. Then I have some Malden salt flakes. These are amazing for sprinkling over the top of your food. Some chickpea pasta mac and cheese, some veggie pita crackers, some um, plant-based little frozen corn dogs, some egg bites, butter, this is my favorite brand of ice cream right now. I got the honeycomb one. This is a matcha protein smoothie. This is some biltong. I love biltong. Chomps is my favorite beef stick, but biltong is better than jerky. I'll say that. And then I just got some chicken salad. This avocado ranch. I wanted real ranch, um, but they didn't have it. So I got that. And then this is a plant-based cookies and cream protein shake. And then I also got some fancy olive oil and vinegar. I'm a big vinegar girl, I love it. And I also care a lot about my olive oil collection. I love infused olive oils and nice olive oils, you know, whatever. Anyway, so I got this one because I've seen it everywhere. And then I just got some champagne vinegar for a recipe I wanna make this week. And then I got this Meyer Lemon Honey Living Vinegar from Acid League because I've heard amazing things about this company. It's been a good day, but a pretty relaxed day and I wanna keep those vibes going. So I'm just gonna have some of my pasta salad and chicken salad, maybe my miniature corn dogs. And Matt and I are gonna have another FaceTime movie date. I did get a lot of stuff done today, which is amazing, but I felt relaxed during the day. I didn't feel too rushed. I think when you start off a day with a workout, as annoying as this is, and trust me, like I get it, I'm annoyed too. But when I start my day with a workout, it really does put me in a good headspace for the rest of the day. So anyway. Cheers. The vlog is seeing your mustache for the first time. Check oh. you out. I kind of like the stash. I'm not even going to lie to you. <laughs> well, we're on watch party now, so it should do both of us. We're starting jury duty. So I am currently getting ready to film a YouTube video, a makeup glow up video. I'm adjusting my tripod right now because I'm currently sitting in my filming spot trying to figure out my camera angle. I would like to film this in my bathroom, but the lighting in there is really bad. So I'm gonna have to bring all my makeup stuff out here. I think that will be better in terms of video quality. No, this works because that's an easy background too. Okay, this is the background where I film my get ready with me's on Instagram. Also, good morning. I have a lot of errands to run today, which means I have to drive. Um, so I want to get this YouTube video filmed ahead of time. I'm going to do, well, you've probably already seen it by now. I'm going to do my old makeup routine on one side of my face and my new one on the other side of my face. So you guys can see the difference. I get a lot of requests for my makeup routine. Um, so that's what I'm filming today. And then because I'll have two different types of makeup on my face, I'll have to wash it off and do 
my full face and then I'm gonna go run errands. Last night was good. Matt is driving me crazy right now when it comes to shows because we keep watching the first episode of a show and then he doesn't like it. And so we move on, we watch the next first episode of a show and then he doesn't like it. I don't know if anybody else's partners are like this, but my husband is the type of person who will scroll through every single movie or TV show on every single streaming platform before he picks one to watch. He wants to watch every trailer. He wants to dabble his toes in everything before he picks a show. Anyway, so we started jury duty last night and I actually really liked it, but he didn't want to keep going. He said it didn't grab his attention. That's fine. I really liked it though. I might watch it by myself. We do all of our movie dates on FaceTime right now because we're still long distance, but this is the last week of it. So Ugh, I'm kind of procrastinating just because I feel a little sleepy, but I need to get this video filmed this morning because like I told you guys already, I've been super depressed. I didn't upload very many times in May. I wasn't on a good schedule. I only uploaded twice and I haven't uploaded in 12 days as of right now. So I want to get this video filmed because I'd like to get it up ASAP. And then I want to get back on my, my good schedule. So I'm going to put on a shirt and wash my face and bring all of my makeup products in here. And we're going to do this. My face is washed and clean. I've got a top on. I have this bag full of all of my makeup. I don't want it to spill out. All my makeup's in here. And I have my brushes. I've got everything. I think I'm good to go. Okay, goodbye to this video. Hello to the next, I'll talk to you after. Guys, I just finished filming the video. You seeing this? Look at this. I mean, you've probably already seen the video by now because the makeup video is gonna go up before this, but in the moment right now, I'm shocked. I can't stop taking selfies because I just think it's so crazy. Ooh, I love it. Okay, I do have to wash, it's like an hour. I do have to go wash all this off and put on my makeup for real though because I have errands to run today. <laughs> my allergies have been so bad lately. This is the power of makeup. Makeup product placement and technique can literally transform your face, can transform your whole bone structure. If you haven't seen this video already, it's definitely already up by now. Give it a watch. Okay, change of plan. I put on my Instagram story and my Snapchat story what I was doing, like the makeup video I was making, and you guys seemed really excited about it. So I decided first priority is getting that video edited and uploaded. Sit down videos on YouTube take way less time to edit and upload. It'll probably only take me three hours to get this video up, whereas a vlog takes a lot more time. So I'm just gonna park on the couch. I changed my little Abercrombie men's Bronco shirt. Matt and I are actually getting a Bronco. That's a fun little life update. We're getting a Bronco this month. We're trading in Matt's car, which is a RAV4, and this is gonna be the first car that Matt and I are purchasing together. It'll be the first big thing that we own together as a married couple, so that's fun. I don't know a ton about cars, so I don't know if I'm telling you the wrong information right now. Matt used to work at this dealership. Um, Matt worked at this car dealership all last year. And there was this day where he texted me and he was like, hey, I know we've talked about getting a Bronco for a really long time. Let's submit an order because today is like a special day to do it. Anyway, we were expecting it to take about a year for that car to be built and we got very, very lucky and it's only taken about four months and the car is being built right now. So we are gonna wait until we see it in person, but we would like to get this car. So we're gonna trade in Matt's car and then this will be our first joint ownership over something big. Anyway, that just felt relevant because I realized I was wearing this shirt. I'm gonna edit this vlog for the next couple of hours and I will run my errands later. Also, I do have a meeting with my manager in an hour and a half and I decided might as well just stay here before the meeting. Ooh. It's been 45 minutes, I hit my first crash. I'm restarting my laptop. This happens every single time. I think it's a storage issue, like I'm just constantly running out of storage and I have external hard drives and I'm constantly deleting footage that I don't need anymore. Um, and it's still just so much footage. And yeah, we crash all the time over here. For every YouTube video that you see me upload, just know it has been a real labor of love. Okay, you guys, I have had a day with technology today. My makeup transformation video took way longer to work on than I thought it would. I did have to take an hour long break for a meeting, which went really well, but I was fully expecting that video to take like two hours and it took five hours because my laptop crashed six times. I'm so frustrated with it. 
but it's finally finished and then I had the stupid bright idea to export it in a higher resolution. Usually I do 1080, but I wanted to do 3260 this time because I always want my quality to be getting better. And it's been exporting for 45 minutes and I'm at 39%. So I'm making, I have a lot of regrets. This is uneven and it's bothering me. So it's about 6.30 right now and I don't want to run out and do the errands I have to drive for because it's the middle of rush hour. I did do one of my errands. I had to fax a couple documents, like tax documents. Um, so I had to go out and find a fax machine. But that's fine, that's done. I'm gonna make a couple little snacks. I don't know what I'm doing for dinner yet, but I'm hungry, so I'm gonna make my favorite summer salad and then salt and vinegar cucumbers. And then I'll figure out dinner later. But I thought I would show you guys because I don't do much in the kitchen as you know, but I really like both of these things. So this is gonna be my one and only cooking segment. I will figure out another day this week to go do my like out in town have to drive for stuff. Six times. And I think it's all because of storage issues. So is something wrong with my laptop? I don't know. Okay, you guys, these look so good. I am gonna eat my little snack. We are currently at 43%. So I'm just gonna catch up on administrative stuff while that finishes exporting. And then I'm gonna get it uploaded. And then I think I'm just gonna watch some YouTube videos. And I'll probably, hopefully, call Matt tonight. At some point, I need to eat dinner too. I don't know what I'm gonna do for that. I've been eating a lot of microwave burritos recently. That's the headspace um, I've been in. Hey, gorgeous. Your little Edward Scissor Hands. Good morning, guys. So, a disaster has struck my household. Yesterday, I noticed that my garbage disposal wasn't turning on, and I thought, Oh, maybe there's some, I don't know, safety switch that's gotten switched accidentally. So I go under the sink and I look in the garbage disposal mechanism, but I can't see anything. I'm like, okay, this is kind of annoying, but it's not a huge problem. I don't use it a lot anyway. So I go to bed. This morning, I go out into the kitchen. My, there's a weird smell. There's a weird smell in my apartment. And nobody likes weird smells, but I especially, oh, they just make my skin crawl. I hate when things smell weird. Like... I don't know. It goes very deep for me. I don't know why. So I don't know what's going on with that. I'm just going to have to call maintenance because I don't know anything about garbage disposals. So I've gotten up a little bit early this morning because I'm filming an ad for a makeup product today. I'm filming a Instagram reel for my Colleen Rothschild Black Tourmaline Face Primer. I've been using this for a month and a half, two months I think, um, and I'm doing a reel for them today. So I want to do a wear test, like show my makeup fresh after application versus like 12 hours later. So I've gotten up early so that I have enough time to like let my makeup sit for 12 hours today and still get my content in on time. So this is the tripod that I use when I'm filming um, get ready with me's or anything in my bathroom or I'm using my phone. I actually really recommend it if you are a content creator or you're just someone who needs a phone tripod because it folds up like this and then it just becomes this like cylinder and it makes it really easy to travel with it does have a bluetooth remote i've never used it to be honest but another cool thing is that it's very tall so you put it to the side when you're filming i'm five foot nine and this is how tall it is so it's a really good height um, for me when i do my get ready with me reels i'm gonna make it shorter so i can put it on my counter two other things i use these little lights Oh, I hope they're fully charged. These little lights are awesome. If you're a content creator as well, they're already Amazon. I do have like a content creation slash tech list on my Amazon storefront. 
if anyone's in the market. Took my nails off yesterday, please refocus. Oh gosh. When you see someone on YouTube doing the hand thing, it's because you're trying to get the camera to refocus. It's not just like an annoying YouTuber thing, it's like literally making the camera focus. I took my nails off last night, I didn't do an incredible job, but I got the job done. And I take them off um, myself sometimes because depending on where I go, sometimes there's an extra charge to remove my nails. And I do, I get fills, but every couple of fills, I like to just start over. I'm gonna do some skincare. So in the mornings, hold on. Gosh, my sinuses are really irritated right now. I thought it was allergies, but then I saw a news article that said DC's actually covered in smoke right now. I thought it was fog yesterday. I'm gonna redo my hair when I actually start filming the, the reel, because this does not look very professional. Um, I'm gonna use the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum. Cute. I did finally get the makeup video up. All told, it took about two hours for that video to export and three hours for it to upload and finish processing. And I was so annoyed about it last night, but now that a day has passed and I've gotten a little perspective, it's fine. I do want to upload videos in really high quality and 1080 is good and 1080 is probably what you guys are used to. But if I can go higher, I want to. Um, so now I just know that that's how long it takes and I'll factor that in to my schedule in the future. But I was pissed off yesterday. I'm just gonna do my skincare with you guys because I can't show that in the reel. When you're doing like sponsored content, it really depends on the creative brief. And whenever I get an offer to do a brand deal, I always look at the creative brief before I even, before we say anything, I always look at the brief. And some brands are like, yeah, you can show other brands, you can, you know, show other branded product. And then some brands are like the only product name and like recognizable brand on screen needs to be ours. Um, and that's what this one is. So, you know, I never used to wear sunscreen ever. I was very blessed to get my mother's Mediterranean skin tone. And that means I really don't burn easily. I have to be outside in direct sunlight with a high UV index, like for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours to get a sunburn. I've never had a bad sunburn in my life, which is, I'm grateful for. But I used to think like, well, I don't burn, so I don't need to wear sunscreen. I, in my head when I was younger, I thought you only wear sunscreen to protect against a burn. And I didn't realize, because I was being stupid, but it just didn't click in my head that like, no, you wear sunscreen so that you can protect your skin against skin cancer. And also it's anti-aging and everything. So my body tan is natural right now. My face, um, I wear a higher SPF on my face than on my body. And I wear SPF on my face every single day. So instead of letting my face tan in the sun, I use tanning drops. These are two faves, obviously, tanologists. This is like a skincare tanning drop. It's a serum, and it has hyaluronic acid in it. It's called Daily Glow, um, so that's fun. And then I also have these Isle of Paradise dark tanning drops, and then I do have regular tanologist ones as well. And so every couple days, I'll just mix tanning drops with my moisturizer at night, and then my face matches my body, but my face is still um, protected, so yay. Found it, it's the Paula's Choice Youth Extending Daily Hydrating Fluid SPF 50. This one's really light and it's nice under makeup. So yeah, learn from my mistakes. It doesn't matter if you don't get sunburned very easily, you should still be wearing SPF. And I also have started wearing sunglasses more because my mom told me to. So my mom has always been like me, like, you know, you don't think about wearing sunscreen as much when you know you're not going to get a sunburn. But my mom also never used to wear sunglasses. And now, she's in her 60s now, and she has had, like, some eye problems. And her optometrist told her, was like, this is probably from a lifetime of never protecting your eyes from the sun and, like, never wearing sunglasses. Because when you have brown eyes, like we do, again, like, the sun doesn't bother you as much. Like, my blue-eyed and green-eyed friends can barely go outside on a sunny day without sunglasses because they can't see. But um, brown eyes can see a little bit better in the sun without getting irritated. So I just never thought to always wear sunglasses either. But then my mom called me one day and she was like, listen, you need to start wearing sunglasses so you don't have these same problems when you're my age. So... Now I wear sunglasses too. Okay, look how pretty this looks. It's so hydrating and so glowy. No white cast, it blended in so fast. And SPF 50, so that's a really good one. SPF tip, since we're on the subject, if you have a problem with your sunscreen pilling underneath your makeup, 
give it time let it soak in and mix with your skincare and really soak into your skin before you put anything else on top of it and i have found that that really helps so now i obviously need to put a shirt on just put on like a white tank top most creative briefs also tell you like depending on the product and depending on what you're doing um but for something like this they want you to wear like a neutral color top can you see my black bra yeah you definitely can and no one needs to know that I'm wearing my sweatpants and slippers. All right, I think we are ready to start filming the little montage thing. It's gonna be, um, I don't know if it's gonna be a voiceover or if I'm just gonna do text overlay, but I know I'm not talking, so I'm just gonna do it. Burning candles is really helping with the garbage disposal smell, but I know it's just masking it, and that is stressing me out. But anyway, I'm gonna film my get ready with me real now. I finished filming, well, everything I can film for the um, the makeup reel because I'm going to have to do my um, check-ins during the day to show the wear test. Anyway, I need to film my reel now and I do it right here. I have, I've been doing this since the summer of 2021. So I have it pretty down to a science. I used to do them all talk through on my TikTok and I've done one talk through one on Instagram, but Instagram during things perform a lot better if they don't have any words and they're just like really, really quick. So the way I do this, I do plan the outfit beforehand and I just gather all of my stuff, even my shoes, accessories, and my perfume combo, which is kind of becoming a trademark now. I have been mixing perfumes for a long time, but now I feel like it's something people almost associate with these videos, which is really fun. So I plan out everything beforehand, even my perfume, but I just do some poses, hold up the articles of clothing, change, do some poses, hold up articles of clothing. If you follow me on Instagram, you know, you know exactly how this goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. The smoke is getting worse. Also, I actually read the news article instead of just the headline this time. It's smoke in Canada. There's been fires raging for weeks and it's the whole like Eastern seaboard is covered in smoke. There's actually an air advisory in my area today. They're saying like you really shouldn't spend prolonged periods of time outside. So that's really scary and I hope everyone is okay. I turned you back on now that all the important bits are closed. I never feel dumb when I'm doing this alone, but for some reason doing this in front of you guys is making me feel dumb. But I love making these videos, so it doesn't matter. I don't ever film me putting on my socks in case there's feet people out there. Also, look, I'm really into navy blue lately. Navy blue is like my favorite, is it a neutral? It's kind of neutral adjacent. It's my favorite one lately. I'm obsessed with navy blue. These are Gola sneakers. I feel like they give the Adidas Sambas vibe, but they're not. And then this is just a little blue bag from Amazon. These pants are from Amazon. This is from Princess Polly. Okay, that's done. I have 35 minutes until I have to leave the house. So this feels like a good time to take out my trash and recycling and answer a couple emails. Here's our little pickleball set. Isn't that so cute? It is from Amazon, I'll link it. Matt and I have been wanting to play pickleball for so long and I found this set on Amazon for like $45. It's very retro, I like the colors. So I think this is a carrying bag, four paddles and then four pickleballs. We're really excited to be pickleballers this summer. I have a couple minutes before my friend comes to pick me up so I'm gonna give you a quick haul. I placed my first with Jean, with Jean. Jean John, it's French. I placed my first order with them. I'm really excited. I hope everything fits. I got three things. So I got this beautiful dress because as you guys know, I've just been obsessed with the blue and white toile print lately. This is really cute. It looks very short. I'm hoping this fits and I can wear it for Matt's birthday next week, which is gonna be really chill. His birthday is the day before the final game in the season. So we're probably just gonna go to dinner, like an early dinner and that's it. Maybe even do it like two or three days before. And then when we come home, we have a birthday dinner with friends and then we're gonna go to Florida together. So might wear this next week. That's so cute. And then I did get a little corset top, obviously. If this fits, I'm gonna wear it to the concert this weekend with like a brown corduroy jacket over it. This is so cute. I love the little um, lacing 
trim up top in both the dress and this. It looks so cute. And I love the colors. I'm really into blue lately. I picked blue for the Prologues cover art theme. And I think it's inspired by the fact that I've been to so into blue and white lately. And now I'm into navy blue as well. I never would have thought that blue would be a favorite color of mine. I've always been a green girl, but blue is doing it lately. And then I have one more thing. Oh, my friend is almost here. I saw this little jacket. It's pretty sporty. And I thought it was just adorable. And I'm sure you've seen a zillion people wearing all of these items of clothing. I feel like with Sean, it's becoming super popular right now. But I just got this little sporty jacket. It says number 06. <laughs> And then it has the company name right there. It does have matching sweatpants, but I didn't think I needed that. I thought this was gonna be really versatile and cute. I'm excited to wear these. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, I, hope so I come back the 20th and he thinks he's coming back the 24th. So okay. that's fun. And then I'm also doing a packing and prepping for Dallas. The only other update I have is that my garbage disposal is broken. Oh, damn. And it's putting a weird smell into my apartment. Ugh. It just like doesn't turn on. And I thought maybe there was a safety switch that had gotten flipped, so I went yeah. underneath the sink and looked and there was nothing. Uh -huh. So I guess I have to call maintenance. Yeah, for but sure. But it smells weird. So I think I'm gonna pour Drano down the sink. I, I don't know. know. I would wait. Do you think it's bad to put Drano in a garbage disposal? Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. I think it could, mm -hmm. like, if something's wrong, it could, like, corrode um, some specific stuff. I don't know. I okay. poured Drano once down a drain <laughs> that I shouldn't have, and I ended up busting the pipes. <laughs> okay. So, Take this from experience. Cool. What yeah. color are you getting on your nails today? I don't know. I've seen them going dark. What about you? Um, I think I might do another neutral. Yeah. I think since I have to do like neutrals for the next couple of weddings, I might just like oh, do true. a darker one. And I want to get them cut to fix the one that oh, I broke. Oh, yeah. I broke it with my boot. So, <laughs> yeah. Sasha has a lot of weddings coming up. Yeah. Got two. Two weddings. So. And then I also had, I put like egg whites in it to make it more protein. And then I had cheese on top, and that mm. was pretty damn good. Nice. Perfect. I love that color. It's really nice. It matches your the stuff on your shirt. Yeah, I know. Going back to South Block for the third time in this week and in this vlog. <laughs> I'm going to get South Block. It's so good. I, I think I'm going to get a bowl this time, though. Yeah? Yeah. Something to munch on. I feel like chewing. Mm. Cheers. Supporting a podcast episode with Alex tomorrow. Oh, you're a talks person? Yeah. Nice. I just put on my Instagram story asking, like, what have you always wanted to know? This is your chance to ask a professional. Um, I got the peanut butter and jelly smoothie. Guys, this is the third time this week and in this video Wait. that I have ordered a regular and they've given me a large because they made extra. So thank you so much to the South Block person who keeps making too much smoothie and giving me extra. Mm -hmm. I'm back. Let me move all the stuff out of the way. I'm not actually cleaning. I'm just creating the illusion of a cleaner countertop for this part of the wall. Social media is fake. So I am home now. I got the peanut butter and jelly smoothie from South Block. This is the third time this week that I've ordered a regular and they've made too much and they've given me a large. Someone in the universe is happy with me. This is so fun. And then I stopped by Trader Joe's and outside of Trader Joe's, there were people raising money for cancer research for children. So I, so I gave them $300. Maybe this is bad to admit, but I was gonna donate less originally. And they were like, if you donate X amount more, you can help another kid get chemotherapy. And like, am I supposed to say no? So I gave them $300 and then on a separate part of this block, there was another group raising money for cancer research for kids. And I thought they were the same group, just different stations. So I was walking by and they were like, hey, you're gonna donate money to this cause. And I was like, oh, I donated to the other guys. And they were like, other guys? And it turns out it's two separate organizations that are both trying to crowdfund um, <laughs> in, on the same block for the same purpose. So. I wish them both luck. Also, the air quality is so bad today. DC issued a code red air quality alert. And I was only outside for like 15, 20 minutes going to the grocery store and back and like getting a smoothie with Sasha. And just 20 minutes and my lungs and my throat feel so irritated. So that's kind of scary. I really hope everyone is staying safe. Um, at Trader Joe's, I just got some more chomps, two jalapeno and two 
mild. And then I just got some frozen gnocchi. It's hard when I know I'm going to be traveling because I don't want to get a ton of groceries because I'm leaving again on Saturday. But I just wanted, you know, I was in the mood. So I love these ones. Hey besties, so it's about 8 o'clock. I didn't vlog all afternoon because I was just doing work and there was nothing to show. But I finally got that reel finished and sent over. I wanted to do a 12 hour wear test and I ended up doing 11 hours because I just wanted to be done. <laughs> So it's an 11 hour wear test, but I feel like that's still really good. So it's about eight o'clock now. I'm not gonna FaceTime Matt tonight because he and the team are getting to go to this Rangers game and they're sitting in some cool box. And I don't know, the game kicks off at like seven, which is now it's eight o'clock my time and he's probably gonna be back late. Anyway, not talking to Mac tonight. Anyway, I'm just gonna make some pasta um, and I'm just gonna do nothing for the rest of the evening. I'm really excited about that. I'd love to catch up on some shows and then I'll probably do a little tidy and just go to bed early. So I'm excited about that. Can't believe it's already Wednesday. The week is flying by, but that's good because I just keep thinking to myself like this is my last week living alone. And even though I genuinely, like at this point, I don't mind it. I am really excited to be back with him. Really, really, really excited. Also, in case you were wondering, this is the, actually it almost is 12 hours now. I did my makeup at 8 a.m. and it's 8 p.m. So you guys are seeing the 12 hour update for this primer. The smoke has been getting worse and I think according to the news, tomorrow's gonna be the worst. I really wanted to go on a long walk today but with the air quality being this bad, I just think it's a bad idea, so. I'm really hoping that it clears up by Friday night because I'm going to this concert. I'll show you guys when it happens, but yeah. I think this vlog is gonna be pretty long, so hopefully we're already past the halfway point. If you've made it this far, I love you. <sighs> Now's a good time to pause and go get a snack or something. <laughs> good night, guys. You guys, this is getting so weird. Look at all the smoke. So this is where the air quality is at now, 227. But this is the map, so this is all in Pennsylvania, and this is blowing down here. Yesterday the air quality was like 140, like down here. So we're just waiting to see if this is all gonna blow down to my area today. This is so crazy. I was just texting my brother and Sasha because we're meant to be going to this concert tomorrow um, which is outdoors at the Meriwether Post Pavilion which is an outdoor venue tomorrow night and as of right now the weather people aren't sure if this is gonna be like the worst it is today or if it's gonna be really bad tomorrow night as well so we're gonna get some N95 masks honestly if it gets really bad I wouldn't be surprised if he canceled the show um, which would be sad but I mean this is crazy and my apartment is starting to smell funky I should have put wet towels down last night and I didn't. I don't know what I was thinking I should have. So I'm gonna put wet towels down now because my balcony door I think is probably what's leaking smoke inside. I looked online for air purifiers like at any of the stores near me but they're already sold out so. I do have a tower fan that I'm gonna keep that blowing today just to circulate air and hopefully the building's like air filtration system is on overdrive today, this is crazy. Okay, I put these wet towels down and hopefully that will stop air from coming in. And I also brought my basil plant inside because look at it. It looked fine yesterday and it's looking kind of droopy today. Not terrible, but like I'm worried that it's gonna get sick from being out in the air. Also, the basil smells nice, which is a welcome relief. The apartment smells funky right now, but I don't wanna burn candles or anything like that because I don't wanna mess with the air quality any further, so that's today. <laughs> I wish I didn't have to leave the house today. I do. I have to go record a episode with a guest um, at one o'clock. I've rented out this podcasting studio in Alexandria because we're going to be recording in person and I obviously need two microphones. So that's at one o'clock. This morning I'm going to clean some. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen today. I feel like the smoke already looks so much worse than it did when I woke up this morning. And that was like 30 minutes ago. This is freaking me out. Anyway. I don't know how much I'm going to vlog today. I'm going to go ahead and clean. I'll check back in when I'm going to go record this episode. Literally, what the fuck? Holy shit. Okay, hey guys. I'm getting ready to go record the episode. The studio is in Alexandria. Um, here's my outfit. It's just this little 
jacket from with Sean with a bralette from Parade underneath. Abercrombie jeans and these are Golas, navy blue. Really back at it again. I'm really excited. Oh, and these earrings are from Studs and this is Rellery, of course. Rellery gifted this to me in 2020, three years ago. And I wear it literally almost every day. So that was excellent gifting on their part because the number of times that I've said this is from Rellery or recommended it to you guys is probably bordering on 300 at this point. They made a good investment when they sent that to me. I asked you guys yesterday to submit questions for Alex and it's gonna be a very informal type of interview just answering all of your questions and it's gonna be going live in two weeks. So I'm really excited, I'm gonna head out now. We just finished recording in the studio. This is the studio, it's very cute. I'm fully freaking out right now because while we were recording, I used this software called Audacity and the recording just stopped all of a sudden and there was like um, a pop-up and then it all just disappeared and I can't find the recording, I don't know where it is. I'm freaking out. We were wrapping up anyway, because we'd already been talking for like an hour, so we just filmed an outro and a voice memo on my phone, but I am freaking out that I can't find the full recording. So I messaged my techie brother and I hope he can tell me what to do, but like, it was such a good conversation, it was such a good episode. It was, so I'm just, <laughs> I'm panicking. Um, I'll show you the studio. <sighs> this is 918 Prince Street in Alexandria, it's on Pier Space. If you guys are in the area and need anything, um, I came here to shoot the, actually I shot the prologues cover art here, and then I also came here to shoot my Mugler perfume ad, and it's a really great studio, and then this is the podcasting space, and I'm just completely freaking out right now. So I am praying my brother can tell me where to find the recording, and I'm praying that there's a backup somewhere, or I'm just, that I... <laughs> Things were already a little messy just because this is my first time recording out of my home and I didn't think I needed to bring this one type of cable converter. I just assumed they would have it and they didn't have it. So me and Alex went to Best Buy and had to get this converter before we could even start recording. So like it's already been such a mess today and I mean she's super nice and I'm sure she would understand if I said I lost the recording and asked her to re-record but Obviously it's just more time and this studio is expensive and I'm just like, I'm really having a moment and praying to God that this is all gonna be okay. back in the closet which means I'm recording another episode I'm pre-recording because I'm about to go to Dallas and I just want to make sure I'm not missing any upload days and I have two episodes recorded now and I'll be there for two Mondays but they're both guest episodes and I thought it would be better to space out the guest episodes um, so I'm gonna do a solo one in between them it's gonna be another Hey Mary episode I'm very excited I just went through the email and grabbed a couple questions that I thought would be good. Um, I think the last thing I told you guys yesterday was that I was freaking out because I had lost, or I thought I had lost um, the guest episode I had just recorded. But when I got home, I panic called my older brother, one of my older brothers, he's a tech IT support person. And he walked me through this very long, like 20 step process, but I was able to recover the audio file and everything is fine and I'm just, Actually, the same brother and his wife are coming over today. Um, they're going to spend the night here tonight, and me, Sasha, and my brother, Jeremiah, are going to a concert tonight. Um, hope his wife is just going to stay here. She was, didn't want to go see the artist. And then they're spending the night here, and then tomorrow morning, they actually have a flight to Maine out of Reagan and I have the flight to Dallas and they're at the same time so we can just go to the airport together which is perfect Also like while I was on FaceTime with my brother trying to get this issue figured out I was like showing him my system settings and he was looking at you know all my 
I don't know, my system, whatever. And he was like, Mary, you have 60 gigabytes worth of documents and data in your trash. Why haven't you emptied your trash? And I was like, oh, I thought it was going to be like my phone where the trash automatically empties every 30 days. Because, you know, on your phone, when you delete a photo or something, after it goes into recently deleted, and then after 30 days, it's just gone. I thought that that's how MacBooks worked, too. I just thought the trash was going to delete by itself. After a while, he was extremely disappointed in me for that. He hung his head and didn't say anything for a minute. So, now I know. I slept really well last night. <sighs> and the air is finally better today. I woke up and I checked and the air quality is 80 this morning, which is in like so much better because the air quality was literally 320 at one point yesterday in Alexandria. Um, and it just felt horrible to be outside, but 80 is manageable. I can deal with 80, so. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this episode recorded pretty quickly here, and then I have a lot to do today. Because I've recorded two guest episodes this week, I'm getting a little bit better about doing this while someone else is watching, but I still feel nervous that you guys are here. Ah! Hello, hello, welcome back to another episode of Prologues. So thank you, I love you, and I'll talk to you next week. Bye. Stop, select, effect, volume and compression, loudness normalization, 17 loops, apply. I say this like I know what this is. No, my brother, the same tech brother I was just talking about, he actually had a podcast a while back and he also just knows everything about computers and software and technology. So he walked me through how to edit my audio a little bit and I wrote down a very detailed list of steps and now I just do them after I finish recording and it makes the audio sound a lot better than it did in the first episode, even though I don't know what's going on, even though I don't know how any of this works. And then I just listen to it and make sure it sounds good. The end of the relationship, but I would file that information away. I would make a note of that. Slay. Recording in the studio, outside of the fact that I had that little freak out and thought I had lost all my footage, Recording the studio yesterday was really nice. It kind of puts you in a different headspace. It felt kind of inspiring to be in a beautiful, well-lit, chicly decorated space. And it was also really fun to record with a guest. I think I'd like to do more guest episodes in the future. I, I want to do more solo episodes than guest episodes. Don't get me wrong. But I'm really excited to incorporate more industry experts. I don't know. I don't know, if you have like a request for a guest, let me know. I'm a little bit intimidated to reach out to people and ask them to be on, but. It's tricky, man. Yeah. yeah. You know, the, I, the Bible does seem to. In <laughs> and somebody went out and verified that. This kind, of th this kind of thinking has literally been going on for centuries. All right, so we're in chapter 13. <laughs>